people will often say, yeah, he's different because he's disabled or like, he can't walk right or whatever. I don't know how different I am. When you say to someone, I'm riding to everyone's base camp on a horse, the first thing they think is you're mental, like, why are you doing this? You see for people just say, well, he's disabled. And they think he should be put away. Jakey boy, how's it going? What people would see as, like, normal things, like, I myself view them as a rebellious act because they are dangling those societal expectations, they are breaking those barriers. It was hard because I felt, what does he have to prove? To me, it was just to put himself in danger. People don't ride up Everest. The physicality of it is just enormous. Are you OK? Are you back? If we keep saying no, the Max is just gonna walk the whole way. Every step I was taking was just making my hip more and more painful and damaged. And I have this really strong memory of us just saying to each other, like, there's no shame in stopping. I would rather have him safe and alive and not permanently damaged. I remember that day thinking, I don't know. If we're gonna go beyond this day. Yeah. We have to get people into safety before the temperature drops. I was in such pain. Like, I didn't care about defying expectations or, like, breaking a stereotype. Fuck. It was just survival. He was kind of interrogating why. Why is it that I want to prove myself? And what does it mean to prove myself? And why should I have to prove myself? For me, being independent was about breaking out of that disabled box and being seen as Bye, Max. just another human being.